hey everyone, if you set up Windows on multiple PCs, test machines, or you just hate clicking through install dialogues, this video is for you. I'll show a safe, repeatable way to do a one-click Windows 11 installation using an autounitend.xml from schneegans.e adirai and a bootable USB. Use unattended installs when you want repeatable, fast installs with no manual input. Good for deploying many lab machines, imaging kiosks, reinstalling a PC you manage, creating consistent VM templates, or prepping a demo machine. Don't use it if you need one-off uh, customizations during setup or if the machine requires manufacturer recovery partitions. To get started, open the Schneegans website. Now carefully fill in the form fields. They are quite a number of them. Choose your language and keyboard layout. Also, select your location. Windows 11 comes in 64-bit, so 64-bit is selected by default. If you're using an ARM processor, select ARM. If your PC does not meet the Windows 11 requirements, tick this box. If your you want a local account, only tick the no internet box. Hide PowerShell scripts from popping up during installation. You can let Windows generate a random computer name or create your own. You can manually select your time zone or let Windows determine it for you. If you do not have a product key, leave it at the default. If you have one, enter it. If you want a local account, you can create one from here. You can choose whether the password expires or not. Most of the remaining ones are tweaks. You can decide what you want. Skip Wi-Fi configs to avoid manual inputs during installation. You can also remove the bloatware from this section. So when creating this file, just carefully go through everything and select what suits your needs. When done, download the XML file.
Now, copy your XML file into the root, not inside sources or other folders. Windows Setup will discover it here automatically. Insert uh, the USB into target PC and boot from USB. If auto unattend is correct, you'll see the install proceed automatically or with minimal prompts, let it run. It will apply the configuration you set, disk layout, product key, user accounts, OOBE choices, scripts. When done, Windows will boot to the first boot experience according to your file, auto logon, or show login. If you included scripts to install software, 7-zip drivers, those will run at the time you set them. If this video helped, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.